Good day everyone! We're here to discuss about the contingency plan of Manila Water. Uh, this presentation is divided into three parts. I'm Clarence Valiente and I'm here to discuss the part one of the presentation and it's all about the usage of Manila Water. You can also open the attached PowerPoint file to serve as your reference while I'm explaining and I hope you will be enlightened as I go over it. Here are the overview that we will cover as we continue. The usage of water in Manila, issues and challenges, and its resolutions. Usage of water in Manila. One of the service ob obligations of, of Manila water is to provide potable drinking water to its customers in the East Zone Concession Area. Manila water obtains 97% of its raw water from rivers, streams, and lakes, which represents high quality of surface water. Given its heavy reliance on surface water protecting the watersheds that feed into the rivers and reservoirs, it's essential to its operations. And here are the issues and challenges. First, first is the water crisis, second is the climate change, and lastly is the wastewater. As I mentioned earlier, the first challenges and issue of the Manila water is the water crisis. Water crisis, operating and sustaining its function had become a concern for both the MWSS and the national government. Poor service performance and poor financial performance were the two most silent problems. The MWSS was severely challenged in delivering on its mandate the highest standard of service to its growing number of customers. As you can see on the ninth slide of our presentation, there is a table showing the population coverage by percentage and water availability of Manila water per day. Uh, this table shows the, shows the tabulation last 2015, uh, saying it's 11 million population and 67% of coverage, while an average of 16 hours per day of water availability in Manila. 2,700. That is the average megaliters per day served by the MWSS, while 7 million people or users and 63% of water loss due to leakage. For the resolution, the MWSS will be more focused on developing not only in laying, pipe, laying out pipelines or putting up more infrastructures to improve, it also had to invest in the people that would awaken the soul of the Manila water. Again, I'm Clarence Valiente and this is the end of the part 1 of the presentation. The part 2 is to be presented by Jason Kalupad. Thank you and God bless. Hi, I'm Jason Kalupad. I'm here to continue the report of Clarence Valiente about contingency plan of Manila waters. Uh, slide 12. In a statement, the company said it would implement operation adjustments to better manage its water supply during the El Nino months. It said, the dry spell is threatening water levels at La Mesa Dam at a time when water demand is steadily rising because of popular increase and rapid economic growth. The, situ the situation hit its tipping point when a severe drought, the El Nino phenomenon, seriously affected the country. The unusually prolonged dry season left majority of the residents without water supply for a long time. Uh, the proposed resolution for this is in light of Pagasa's recent El Nino advisory and its threat to, Manil to Metro Manila's domestic water supply, Manila Water will be implementing operational adjustments that may affect water, service, water services across the entire East Zone. This is to help arrest the rapid decline of the water level at La Mesa Dam due to limited inflows from rainfall. We encourage everyone to treat water as, as the valuable resource that it is by using it wisely. Here are the tips in conserving water. Always make sure that, that faucets are tightly closed, regularly check leaks and have it repaired immediately, recycle water for example, collect water use to wash dishes and reuse to flushing the toilet. When bathing, use a pail and dipper instead of the shower. Turn off tap water while washing, shaving, or brushing teeth. 
use a glass of water for gargling. And finally, when washing the car, use a pail, not a water hose, and, and a cotton rag instead of a sponge. Thank you. Hi, I'm Julia Nolaes and I'm here to discuss about the last issue and challenges of Manila water, which is wastewater. Wastewater is a general term that includes all used water discharged by households, commercial, and industrial establishments. Manila Water's steadfast commitment to protect the environment is evident in the magnitude and scale of the company's efforts to ensure that domestic wastewater from households does not contribute to the pollution of rivers and other water bodies. For the solution, Manila Water's wastewater treatment plants employ various technologies to treat waste and pollution. Through a variety of mechanisms and processes, these treatment plants produce treated wastewater safe enough for reuse or discharge to receiving bodies of water. And for the treatment process are screening, equalization, primary sedimentation, aeration, disinfection, and secondary sedimentation. In the process of screening, wastewater passes through the mechanical screens to remove sand, grit, and debris. Raw sewage is then lifted by pumps into the head of the treatment process. Equalization. Flow rate is controlled to prevent huge variation in volume, concentration, and temperature. In primary sedimentation, large sediments are allowed to settle to separate clarified water. Wastewater then flows into no tanks equipped with aerators and blowers. In aeration, the blower supply oxygen to the tank to sustain the bacteria responsible for the composition of pollutants. In disinfection, harmful microorganisms are removed by the addition of sodium hypochlorite, treated wastewater, or effluent, then flows by gravity to the nearest water body. And in secondary sedimentation, biological flux are allowed to settle to separate clarified water. Here are the references of our report. Now, we already know the usage of water in Manila, the issues and challenges, and the resolution. That will be the end of our report about the contingency plan of Manila water. If you have any questions, you can email us. Thank you and God bless.